Do you guys have trouble spotting highway or staying alive in your light tank on a highway? I'm going to show you how you can prevent that, right? At least from the southwest spawn. Here's how you can stay alive and here's how you can light it effectively without getting lit yourself. So we're going to be in the Hawk 30 uh, again. This is highway. Highways are really challenging, tricky map, in my opinion, especially from the northeast spawn. Now, we're going to be on the southwest spawn. It just happens to be the spawn that I was on um, last night when I was playing a game, and this ended up being a really good game. Now, watch. See this location that I'm going to here? Um, the LT432 decides to get very aggressive here. Right, so he's going to come up like this, and eventually he's going to come all the way to here. I don't think this guy was a very good player. I would not do what I did here, by the way. You don't want to really knock this building down, because it's going to be your only defense if you do get spotted. But watch how I use this bush line, guys, to my advantage. Now, this is fairly standard. Yeah, a good amount of light tanks are going to go here. If you're new to the game, I would highly suggest trying out this bush line, and I would come to it just like I did. Don't go around this way and come down. It's more risky. Um, chances of you getting spotted are higher. I would try and drop down here immediately, immediately and then come up like this at the bush in, and then into the bush line, right? So here's the STRV 103B. I'm seeing if maybe I can get a shot at this guy, but I'm concerned with the LT432. I don't want this guy to spot me. And even if I fire from here, like it's going to even behind the bush, it's going to throw away too much concealment, and I'm going to end up getting lit. So, LT-432 is poking here. I'm not really sure what this guy is trying to do, but watch how I keep myself in the bush line. See how I'm keeping the bushes in between me and him so I don't get spotted? And then, in the meantime, I spot the Hawk 30 behind me. And how I spotted this guy, I don't know. He must not have great concealment. Keep in mind, I do have CVS and 496 of you range, I think, on this vehicle, so that certainly helps. But I was very surprised to spot him from such a distance but it is the case we spotted him guys and we have a pretty good team here right i'd like to think we, they had a lot of tourists i'd like to call it on their team tourists as skill for ltu would say by the way i'm in baboon 2 um the clan baboon 2 we have baboons baboon 2 and baboon 3 so we we are basically the representation of skill for ltu on the north american server so if you guys want to join our um clan you can join baboon 3 which is the newest clan um really all you need to have is a tier 6 i believe um tank and you just have to be a good person don't be toxic in the chat right um and you can reach out to you can even reach out to me if you want and i will try and get the ball rolling for you or you can reach out to my um commander steel guts in tennessee he knows um the person that's kind of in charge of that new clan i think his name might be greasy but um i'm not sure like i get some of the, the people confused that um, used to watch Steel Guts channel and my channel as well when I did stream. Fortunately, I don't do that anymore. But if you guys want to join, feel free. You know, shoot me a message. I will get the ball rolling for you. No problem. So here's Sharfooter. And again, this is what I mean about like people being tourists, right? On this particular, in this particular game, because STRV 103B, this is not really a common play for them. And then there's a Sharfooter out here. And then later on, you'll see, um, I believe it is the T44 that appears out here. And these guys would have been much better off just pushing all the way to where the T55A is, right? So I'm going to take a blind shot at the M48 RPZ. It's actually an out of render shot. Um, just to do it right i ping the map so that's what i do i ping the map to see where they are and then i take the shot and when you ping the map see how the, the pings are right there on the map you can do that you can look at the map ping where the person is and then you can shoot at your ping that's a that's a really interesting trick that um i like to do and i even made a video on it like a few weeks back so you can check that out but hawk 30 is pushing into us here and now this is where i realize the t44 has shots at me so i'm actually going to put myself in between this building um put my put my tank in between the building and him right so he doesn't have that immediate shot and unfortunately we missed a quick shot at the hawk 30 he was kind of wiggling so i just decided to right click and auto aim it and um take that shot and i missed so it is what it is but it looks like the what was it the lt432 or whatever that was down here was able to clean him up but he also died himself and i think that's why he pinged up here it was probably the lova that killed him or something but at this point i'm thinking that i could advance but you have to be really careful with this because the char footer is right here he's probably 350 meters away or something like that i'm actually going to advance right and go to this bush 
Now this bush is really, really nice, guys. If you're in a smaller tank, the Hawk 30 sticks out of it like crazy. You know, I'm sticking out like a sore thumb over here because the tank is so fat, but I am able to kind of wiggle myself in and make it work. But take a look at this, guys. Let me draw this out for you, right? Let me pause. We'll go to my little drawing thing here. From this bush, like I'm gonna sh try and figure out where the the render range ends for me. So it looks like it's like right in the middle of the base. This is where my render range is ending. It's like something, yeah, something like that. This is what you can spot from this area, guys. Like if anyone is anywhere close to this line, you can't spot this back bush line quite, but you can literally spot, like look where my, my line is, man. All the way up to like people that are gonna be in here. Like you could spot that whole thing. That's why I really, really like this particular bush. It's kind of risky though, because if you get a light tank that comes up like the LT432 did, if you come here from the start of the game, you will get lit and it leaves you open to people like even the Kronwagen that, that is up here, because people will kind of go through here like this towards the city and they'll have shots in you. And then people up here will have shots in you. People over here will have shots and you're just, you're, there's nowhere you're safe, trust me this water tower thing is not big enough to keep you safe and you will die like even in the even 90 people have shots i don't know how but i always die here if i get spotted so just something to note guys i would not try to take that bush from the start but as you're progressing what i like to call progressively scouting a map on highway you can progressively scout into that bush um, later on and this is how you can stay alive you have to be careful but once your team starts to um, press and win the map then you can progressively scout and start to move up now we did have the much better team in this one i will say if your team does not play like mine did eventually you're gonna have to run away from here right and you might even get spotted my tip for you is to run away like this go back up the hill and in here, by the base, there's some bushes that you can get into, or you can try and come up this little hill over here. So on the map, if you're looking on the map, I'll kind of draw that for you. On the map, that would be like G, like the G square, right? G1 maybe. And you can try and stay on that hill, or you go to these bushes in H1 right here. There's some bushes in H1, and those are really nice to prevent people like towards the very end of the game when people are pushing from this direction, like from the city, and when people are pushing up this little hill. So anyway, I'm gonna try and go after the ISU here. I'm looking for an HE shell, trying to get it into his kind of like his side plate there, but I can't get it, so I just switched to APCRs. I still am only able to track him, but we get the tracking assist. And this is how you can kind of close out a game when you're winning, guys, right? I'd like to be able to show you what happens when you lose, but obviously I can't win and lose in one game. So if I do have a good game, on highway where we lose and i will certainly show you how to retreat on this map from the southwest spawn now i like to keep these buildings in between me and the kronwagen in case he pokes up and just rush this hill because i have 905 hp and i can take a couple shots right so i'm just going to rush right into this hill and what i'm going to do is actually come up over the hill because i noticed the lova is facing this way his gun's facing that way and the kronwagen is facing that way so i'm going to come up like this turn this way and then turn back down towards the hill, try and get a shot at the Kranwagen, and then stay away from the Lova. But what I'm doing at this point, because I know I have the HP to burn, I'm just distracting these guys. I'm playing the distraction role so that everyone else, like the KPZ and stuff, can come up over the hill. And the, and also the Lova won't be targeting like my Conway and G-Sword that are poking up, or are starting to come up the hill. So it gives the KPZ free shots, right? And the Lova's trying to target me, and the Lova has kind of a slow turret. So that's why I'm just you know, basically baiting the Lova to aim at me, right? And then the same thing with the CC. I know I can take one shot from him. I take it, and now I'm going to go all the way around. He's kind of facing the Jagdpanzer E100, so I'm going to scream around this corner and come around and sit right behind him. This is another really, really good tip that most players, maybe you know, but you don't utilize. When, when you're trying to go against a solid turret, I always call them solid turret, but turretless tank destroyer. Just get right behind them. Don't try and circle them. It's, if they're out in the open, don't, like, don't circle them. Just sit right behind them, and they have no choice. Because most of them, what they should do is pull forward or try and get to some sort of like hard cover where they can turn around and you can't stay behind them. But a lot of like 
for whatever reason, guys, a lot of tank destroyer players will just back up into you. They don't know what else to do, so they'll just continue to back up into you, and you just sit there. You don't even have to press the WASD. You just literally sit there. Let them con continue backing into you and take shots into their 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 back plates, right? And um, you know, you're you don't have to do anything, right? And you can even use them as cover. Say the Jagdpanzer E100 was an enemy. Well, you can try and sit here and almost, you know, play around with your W and S keys to use the um, CC as cover. I've done this before too with really big tanks. Like if you get behind a tortoise or something, you can actually use them as cover or even a super heavy. You know, if your tank's low enough, try these things out, guys. Like, try and be creative. You'd be amazed, like, what you can do in a light tank against these really big, slow, awkward tanks. Like, I'm telling you, you can run circles around them, but sometimes it's better to just, like, scrape alongside them or sit right behind them. And you'll have a fun time, right? Especially in the even 90. It's so fun. I can't tell you guys the amount of times I've come right up to super heavies or just sat right next to or right behind these big monstrous um, assault TDs, tank destroyers, or super heavies, right? So anyway, I hope this helps you out on highway, guys. Um, I know it might not be the most informative video because this was a 15 to 3 stomp, but we did 4,600 spotting and almost 2,000 damage. And I think this gives you a really good understanding of how this area, like the E and F squares, kind of work on this map. And the LT432, the play he made, it shows you exactly what not to do. So, hope that all helps you out. Let's take a look at the end plates. This was a mastery for me. We ended up doing 2,211 damage, 4,611 spotting. So, this was like almost 7,000 combined on highway, which is really, really good in my opinion. Highway is not the best map for light tanks. There's worse maps, but it's not one of the better ones. And we're up here maybe fourth or fifth by damage. I don't know. Yeah, the Jagdpanzer E100 object, and looks like the Conway, and even this. So, no, I'm like in the middle by damage, guys, because this was a tier 10 game. A lot of these guys had a good amount of damage, but we are top by experience. 1,345 experience. The Tiger 2 had a really good game as well. It looks like a lot of players on my team played this really, really well. And sometimes this is the case. You'll find that, that teams are unbalanced. And in my opinion, we had the winning spawn for that portion of the map that we went to, right? Like this portion of the map, this whole area, like the northwest, is really tricky to manage from the northeast spawn. Like the northeast spawn, I don't know why Wargaming has not fixed this map, but it always feels like the northeast spawn is at a really big disadvantage in the northwest area of this map. And I've had videos explaining that on my channel if you guys want to search for them and check them out. But anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. We made 47k from this, and here's the the um, all the combined um, damage and spotting damage and everything. The detailed report and that's all. So I am running Bounty Low Noise Exhaust on this vehicle, which gives me over 40% concealment. And again, CVS in the scouting slot. This is super, super, super important, guys. Run CVS in your scouting slot. Um, if you like this kind of content, guys, do subscribe. It would really, really help me out, and I do appreciate it. Like, comment, and share the video. That helps it get recommended more. And I make these videos. I say this after every video. I make these videos to help you guys out, man. Like, I really just want you guys to be comfortable in light tanks because when I started um, playing light tanks, really, like, not even started World of Tanks, when I started my light tank journey, I was awful at the game. And everybody in the chat would crap on me all the time until I became a better player, started watching a lot of CCs and understanding the game. So it's my hope that I can now pass that along to you guys that were in my position five, six years ago, whatever it was. Hope you enjoy, guys. I'll catch you for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.